Hello, welcome back to another late breaking news where the news is often late, but the discussion is relevant. I already spoke about this topic earlier today in a live chat, but I want to focus this uh, video strictly on this topic and give more uh, details on this deal and my opinion. Okay. First up, I'm on the Blackstone web page home site and let's call up keep this in mind keep this blackstone tactical opportunities uh, in your vocabulary okay because that's uh, the division at blackstone that make this investment and as you can see here if you uh, i'm not going to read this but you know you can read it if you wish uh, basically this division is a private equity division that make a lot of investment in a lot of private business um, and if you are a wealthy investors and accredited investors that worth over X amount of dollars you can invest in private equity and as part of that you can buy into these investments and that's how uh, some of the big name that was banter and shown in other uh, press release like Jay-Z is involved in this deal. Jay-Z and other people, other wealthy investors are involved in this deal through this division by buying into the private equity that bought a majority stake in CGC. Hopefully my explanation is thorough and makes sense, yes? So, this deal valuing the company at more than 500 million. That means that, for argument's sake, let's say they value the company at 500 million and they're taking a majority stake. That means that they buy more than 50%. Okay, so we don't know the exact number. Someday, the number may come out and we will know more what the exact dollar and cent is of this deal before now. That's the number, okay? And then you can go to Blackstone webpage and read all about it, okay? But look at this. Blackstone has 649 billions in asset under management. This is a massive company. I have traded uh, the stock of this company a few times. Um, and as you can see, about certify collectible group CCG okay as I mentioned in the chat this morning comic book is just one of the division okay let's jump to uh, more details you see our business here our business to tactical opportunities right here so let's click on that there you go we provide opportunistic capital, timely investing decision, and differentiated solution. And, and as you can see, this division of Blackstone has 32 billion assets under management. They have 143 investment. Okay, so they invest in a lot of business. This is a massive company. All right, so make no mistake, the deal with CGC buying CCG. It's big, but on a grand scheme of thing, it is a very small piece of this division, let alone this company. Okay, so hey, they are here to make money. Wall Street buy business for the cash flow, for the profit. Okay, so <laughs> they see a lot of profit, they see a lot of growth. Does that mean that the growth will continue? We don't know. I don't know. Okay. For sure, they think it is a good business. Otherwise, they would not invest in the company. Okay. It's because they're taking a lot of money from investors. Okay. This is money from investors that they gave to Blackstone in order to invest and buy businesses. That's the way Wall Street works. Okay. Okay. So now you see. The big picture so let me dive a little bit deeper into the weed for those that care to learn about wall street okay if not you can stop <laughs> private equity is one of the big 
component of how the wealthy get super wealthy, okay? This is how the rich get richer. But most people can't because you have to have a certain amount of assets, a certain amount of wealth in order to qualify as an accredited, accredited investors, okay? They already raise a lot of money. So a lot of time, what happened with Blackstone and CGC is something that they have raised money in the previous months, if not longer time frame. okay? Private equity firm tend to go out there to investors and try to raise X amount of dollars in order to use that pool of money to buy a bunch of private companies, okay? When I used to work under a big firm in New York and manage a lot of wealthy clients' money, we had a lot of private equity firm that come to us seeking funding because they know we have a lot of clients that have hundreds of millions. The, the average clients that my, the firm that I work for has 200 million or more. Okay, so super wealthy. So a lot of private equity firm would come knocking on our door to try to woo us to give them money. They want us to convince our clients to put in 5% of their asset into the fund in order for them to have the money that they need to go and buy all kind of different businesses, okay? And the ultimate end game for many of these deals as far as what they do with the money is of course buy a business, try to grow it, to maximize potential profit and growth revenue projection, all of that in order to go public, okay? If you don't know, um, Blackstone invests in a lot of business that they spun into a public company later and cash out and make a lot of money for their investors. The, the latest one that I know on top of my head is Bumble. Bumble, the, the, the dating site that compete with uh, Tinder, Bumble. Yes, they, Blackstone is a big private equity investor in Bumble. And then when Bumble went public, issue stock going to Wall Street, raise, become a billion dollar company. Blackstone and the clients that invest in the private equity that bought, that invest into Bumble before it went public, cash out and made a lot of money. Okay, so that's the end game for a lot of private equity. It does not mean that every company that was purchased with by by private equity firm can go public. Okay, there's there's sometime not everything will pan out. Okay, um, that's why each fund, if you go and research the tactical division, have multiple funds. They have, I think, four or five different funds where they pull together billions of dollars, invest in hundreds of company. And then some of them will pan out, some won't. So not everything in a private equity portfolio is going to pan out. That's why it is a portfolio. It is a diversification process that the super wealthy like to take bets, okay? They don't want to make a bet on one company. They, they rather put a bunch of money into a pool and that pool then invest in a bunch of companies and then all they need is a few home runs and that pool will return a lot of money, a lot of profit for the investors, okay? They don't need every single one of those investments to pan out. Does that mean that CGC is not going to succeed down the road? It's not gonna grow crazy and can go IPO and someday you can see a CCG stock? We don't know. It's very rare that a private company that was purchased by a private equity firm that can spun into a public company in a year. It's, it's very rare, okay? I, I, I can't recall a situation when something like that happened. Can it happen? Sure, but I can't recall on top of my head if something like that happened. My advice is if you're bullish 
on CGC. Keep in mind, as I showed you in the earlier part of this video, CGC is a very tiny part of Blackstone. Okay, very tiny. So even if you are bullish on CGC and you want to invest or have a foot in the door and you are not an accredited investor where you can invest in the private equity fund directly, you can buy Blackstone stock. Okay, it's not a bad stock. It's a decent stock, pay decent dividends, kind of boring. But that's one way that you can invest in CGC or CCG, okay, is buy Blackstone stock itself because you're betting on the management. Before I go, this will have no bearing on how I treat this hobby, okay? I will approach buying and selling comic books no differently today compared to last week before this news came out. It has no bearing on how I see the hobby down the road. And that's my view on this deal. Hopefully everything I said makes sense, okay? That's the ultimate goal of this video is trying to explain things the Wall Street way <laughs> instead of just like, oh my God, Wall Street bought CCG, whoopee! Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.